Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the most requested video that is ANOVA. ANOVA means analysis of variance. Mostly it is very important for MSc nursing program. But sometimes even in BSc nursing program for 5 marks they are asking ANOVA question. So many don't know what to write exact answer for ANOVA. And here I have given the simplest explanation as well as uh, the simplest formula for ANOVA testing. So this ANOVA or analysis of variance comes under parametric test. So this comes under Nursing Research and Statistics Unit 7 that is Introduction to Statistics in Nursing Research. So this is useful for BSc Nursing students, MSc Nursing students, Post Basic BSc Nursing students as well as uh, students who are studying General Biostatistics. <coughs> Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. ANOVA ANOVA is nothing but analysis of variance. This was developed by Ronald A. Fisher or you can tell as R. A. Fisher. R. A. Fisher. F-I-S-C-H-E-R. So, the student t-test cannot be used for comparison of three or more groups. So, if it is two groups, you can compare it by using student t-test. But if it goes more than two groups, that is three or more groups, this uh, t-test is not applicable. So, in that time, you have to use a special type of F-distribution test that is called as ANOVA. So, ANOVA is also one type of F-test. Already, we have posted videos on T-test and F-test. You can watch our channel playlist for more videos with regard to T-test and F-test. So, the purpose of ANOVA is to test if there is any significant difference between the means of two or more groups so you are testing the difference between the means of two or more groups in anova we can analyze two variances what are the two variances variance between group and variance within group variability so in anova we can analyze two variances what are those variance variance between groups and variance within group variability see first thing is what variance between groups between one group and another group you can test the variability or variance next is a uh, variance within group variability group variability within the same group that is for example in one particular group before treatment during treatment and after treatment like that you can check it off okay so within group variability the second one i told now within group variability is called as error variance within group variability is called as error variance is the variation that cannot be accounted for in the study design so within group variability is otherwise called as what error variance so next the between group variability first one i told no variance between groups so that is called as effect variance which is the result of treatment see for uh, one group you have given uh, given one particular dose of medication for other group you have given different dose of medication so there will be variability of effect in the first group and second group uh, like that so that is called as between group variability so you have within group variability which is otherwise called as error variance whereas between group variability is otherwise called as effect variance next we will see the assumptions of ANOVA as usual Stand, samples are drawn from normal population, sample observations are independent, samples are selected randomly, the samples are drawn from population having equal variance, sample size should not differ widely. The various effects that is treatment and errors are additive in nature. The experimental error have a normal independent distribution with the mean is equal to 0. In normal distribution, normal probability curve or normal distribution curve, I have told now the mean will be 0 and the standard deviation will be 1. So, that is applicable here also. So, here 
what are the assumptions of ANOVA? The samples are drawn from normal population. Sample observations are independent. Samples are selected randomly. The samples are drawn from population which are having equal variances. So the variances should be equal. Sample size should not differ widely. For example, if you are taking uh, in one group, you are taking 5 means. In another group, if you are taking 6, 4, 7, that is also no problem. But in one group, you are taking only for example, I am telling only 5. In another group, you are taking some uh, 25 like that means there is a wide range of difference. So in like that way, you should not take it. Next, the various effects that is treatment and errors are additive in nature. The experimental error will be having a normal independent distribution with mean 0. What is the formula for calculating ANOVA? ANOVA test statistic F is equal to MST divided by MSE. What is MST? It is the mean square between the groups. What is MSE? It is the mean square within the groups. So MST means mean square between the groups. MSE means mean square within the groups. MST mean square between the groups. MSE mean square within the groups. So this is called as ANOVA test statistic formula. F is equal to F test statistic is equal to MST divided by MSE. What is MST? Mean square between the groups. What is MSE? Mean square within the groups. Next we will see the types of ANOVA. You have one way ANOVA. You have two way ANOVA. What is this one way ANOVA? It compares three or more unmatched group when data are categorized in one way. So it compares what it compares three or more groups. That's why we are telling it as ANOVA test. If you want to compare more than three or more groups then it is called as ANOVA test. So which are categorized in a particular direction or particular way in one way then it is called as one way ANOVA. It compares three or more unmatched groups when the data are categorized in a in one way. So here Total sum of squares TSS, total sum of squares TSS is equal to treatment sum of squares that is SST, treatment sum of squares which is called as SST plus error sum of squares, error sum of squares is SSE. So in one way ANOVA, the total sum of squares TSS is equal to treatment sum of squares that is SST plus Error sum of squares SSE. Example of one way ANOVA test. Comparing control groups with three different doses of aspirin in rats. You are comparing the control group with three different doses of aspirin in rats. For one group you are giving 50 mg. For another group you are giving 75 mg. For another group you are giving 150 mg. Like that you are comparing the effect. So how, what effect it is going to have with the low dose that is 50 mg. What effect it is going to have with 75 mg and what effect it is going to have on 150 mg like that. Okay. Next is effect of supplementation of vitamin C before treatment, during the treatment and after the treatment. For example, you are giving vitamin C supplementation. So after that, um, before the treatment, how it, how it is during the treatment, what effect the supplementation is going to have and after the treatment, what effect it is going to have. So th that completes one way ANOVA. Next to moving on to two way ANOVA. It is used to analyze the effect of the independent variable on the expected outcome along with the relationship to the outcome itself. So it is used to analyze the effect of the independent variable on the expected outcome along with the relationship to the outcome itself. So here you are analyzing what the effect of independent variable on the dependent variable on the expected outcome and also the relationship of the outcome. Okay. So here example effect of two antihypertensive drugs in two different doses. Okay. For one patient you may give 10 mg. For another patient you may give 15 mg. So what is the effect of the two antihypertensive drugs in two different doses? Two antihypertensive drugs you are in two different doses. What is the effect you are studying? Next is comparing the employee productivity based on 
working hours as well as working conditions okay working hours you are considering and working conditions uh, the environment working environment also you are considering so what impact it is going to have on the employees productivity that you are going to assess moving on to advantages of f test it is having better power okay better power of significance then improved ability to detect and estimate the interactions among the variables improved ability to detect and estimate interactions then the availability of extensions will be helping us to deal with the measurement error in the covariates so here what it has better power compared to other types of tests improved ability to detect and estimate the interactions between the variables then the availability of extensions to deal with the measurement error in the covariates or covariables next is disadvantages there will be some difficulty in finding blocking factors that are highly correlated with the dependent variable you may not know what are all the blocking factors which are which are having a high relationship with the dependent variable okay there are so many blocking factors will be there identifying those blocking factors and its effect on the dependent variable is going to be very difficult so that is with regard to first disadvantage there will be some difficulty in finding the blocking factors that are highly correlated with the dependent variable next is loss of power may occur if poorly correlated blocking factors is used i told it it is having better power no suppose if you are not going to control this blocking factors then your power of significance is going to be less okay loss of power may occur if poorly correlated blocking factors is used hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel so this is a very basic explanation for bsc level it's more than enough for a five marks question so you can uh, um, watch our channel playlist in which most of the syllabus 90% of the portions related to nursing research and statistics we have covered in our channel playlist bsc nursing fourth year nursing research and statistics you can watch our channel playlist for more research related and statistics related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel as i have told earlier i have given the link in description box suggested in card and i card keep supporting to our channel thank you